All right, y'all, welcome to another clip. I don't know why, why I became from Texas there, but whatever, you get, the, you get the idea. Welcome to another clip. Today, I am gonna show you a little more from a practice session and walk you through uh, what I'm doing wrong and what I'm doing right in certain situations. See if I can evaluate myself fairly. Uh, I hope I can. Uh, I'm, I'm going to do this with a couple of uh, training sessions, I believe, and maybe merge merge some of them together, but to like uh, show the different different strokes and what I'm doing good, what I'm doing bad, and hopefully that will help me improve my, my game as well. Right now, I am at home still in my apartment where I live with two other Swedish people. I'm going to go sit down, have my delicious breakfast. And after that, we're gonna go and have some physico. Down. Calm down. I've gotten comments about me saying physio and apparently that's not the same thing. That's physiotherapy. Um, well, the more you know it, eh? but I'm gonna go and have some physico and then we're gonna train some paddle again. It's gonna be good. Hopefully I can film a little from that and merge together and uh, yeah. I'll see you later, boys and girls and non-binary people. Please don't, please don't cancel me. Okay, so my intention here is that I'm gonna view some of my, some of my exercises I've done, uh, like look through the material, and then I'm gonna try to pick out what I'm doing good and what I'm doing bad. And hopefully, as I said before, that can help me get better and maybe give you an idea on what things you should think about while doing the overhead. This is gonna be more focused on the overhead, okay? So let's just get right into it. Uh, this is a basket I'm doing parallel from the right uh, from the left side. Sorry, from the left side, I'm just doing parallel uh, viboras and bandejas, uh, whatever suits the situation. And yeah, let's get into it. I remember that I started off by doing a couple of good ones here, just not super super fast or anything. Just control. I kept my one, one important thing is to keep your elbow very up high, so you strike from top to down. You'll see here, I think it's, is it this one? No. I remember there's one where I let it slip down a lot. I think it's this one, this one, yeah. No, that was a really good one, actually. Oh, I'm steaming. That one, that one, if you look at that one. Uh, I really, <coughs> I let my elbow go down. Not this one. That was when I was playing with Paco. Right here. I let my elbow go down, boom, straight into the glass, straight away. Because you hit it more, uh, you're like slicing it instead of pushing it down. And that's, that's, a, that's a thing I had to focus a lot when I came here to like really keep the elbow up high in order to be able to strike from top to down while you're striking forward as well. I've gotten better at it, but still, as you can see, sometimes it happens that <laughs> it's not perfect. But in general, this was a pretty good series of balls here for me, that is. Uh, one of the other things I see not right now, oh, that wasn't a bad one, uh, is that my ball is bouncing sometimes bouncing up a lot from the glass, and we don't want that. That's also an indication of me not hitting the ball too much up to down, so I don't get enough backspin on the ball, and enough spin in general. Another thing I had to focus a lot about was my footwork. I had to, like as they say, semi, leave my feet semi-open, uh, which I didn't know from the start. So I, as you can see, I put I, I walk down uh, and then I put my left foot uh, besides my right foot in order to uh, keep the hips open. But you shouldn't. Uh, a thing I'm seeing I'm doing wrong here on pretty much everything is that I'm opening my hips as well. My hips should be closed while my feet are open, so I get like the twist in the hips 
in order to just throw the arms. So that's a thing I have to work work on. I don't have clips from that right now, but when I uh, a training just the other day, I changed my grip a little to like a more uh, backhand style grip, where I got I felt that I got a lot more force going into that one than uh, than I usually have and. Uh, I wish I filmed some of that because it was a really good basket, but unfortunately I didn't have time to mount up the camera that time. My things I have to focus most about are moving fast backwards, keeping my legs semi-opened, and keeping my hip closed, and my elbow very up high, and my wrist firm. Then you will have like a pretty consistent overhead in general. So let's move on to another basket I'm doing. This one was with... Uh, Paco, and if we move on to another one I'm doing with Alberto over here. I yeah, this was a, a basket of overhead into a forehand volley, so I had to close the net and do a volley. I preferably like to do my overheads cross like this as well, from the left to the to the south glass in there. Um, They're looking okay. Alberto doesn't really like my <laughs> my volleys. It's been a it's been a thing between the two of us, my forehand volleys, that I really had to work on, and he lets me know that I have to work on them. <laughs> but it's a good thing. It's a good thing. It really is. And he shows me here how I should jump, because I'm a really bad thing I'm doing is when I when I have to jump, I I jump backwards. And you should jump straight up. You should just run backwards, stop, jump straight up, and like do, but do it super fast. You know, just doesn't don't do it like slow, obviously. And then you in the air, you transfer the force forward. You can't like jump backwards and think you're gonna achieve any kind of force forward uh, with the stroke because that's just not possible. So he's telling me telling me that uh, and is always, as always criticizing a little on my volley but I deserve it it's fucking shit it's really bad and that was not good that was a decent volley for me no I was jumping backwards jumping backwards jumping backwards again and he shows me that I'm doing that. And I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, only jump straight up and then go forward. Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> I look so ugly everything I'm doing when I'm watching it now in hindsight. It feels it feels kind of good in on court, but it, now it looks just so ugly. <laughs> Jesus. I need to work on that. Ah, oh, these last ones, oh, that, not that one. These last ones are pretty good though. I feel like I'm jumping up, I'm backing, jumping up and swinging my hips. And now, <laughs> now it gives me the classic lecture of uh, why don't you do this in match? Why don't you do this in match? You only... This is Pontus in match. Push, push, push. Nothing else. <laughs> and he's right about that as well. I don't have a confidence in matches, but... I'm gonna get there as well. We're gonna get there as well, eventually. Alright, so that was... Um, that was another clip. So, yeah, that was... Um, that was a couple of baskets that I've been doing in the last uh, in the last week, last couple of weeks, I think. And it's getting better. I still have, as I said, things to improve on with the uh, consistency and thinking about like, keeping my wrist steady, keeping my elbow up high, doing the right footwork while, where I place my foot in the right place and think about not opening my hip. And there are some other things as well that I need to work on, like flexing my core. I'm way too loose. I think if you look at the if you look at the clip, you can see that I'm like a little slimy. <laughs> at least that, that's what I see when I look at it. But 
uh, things like that that I can work on as well. And hopefully that will uh, give us a decent overhead in the future. So if you liked this clip and if you want to see me doing more of these where I just review my own trainings basically, uh, let me know in the comments because this is helping me a lot as well, uh, even though it's painful to watch in a lot of senses. It's helping me to like know what to think about in the future trainings. So let me know if you want to see more of this. I'm thinking about doing it at least with all the, with all the different uh, baskets we do. And then maybe do some other, with some other exercises, maybe some two-on-ones, stuff like that to see my defense and stuff like that. And yeah, otherwise, uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a like, please. It helps. Thank you. Bye. Peace. Oh, <laughs>